give credit to uh, Mike Houston and his football team. They came in here and battled, uh, did a heck of a job. You know, no matter what people say, uh, they're they're a really good football team. You know, they're they're going to win a lot of football games. They battle and uh, they play extremely well throughout the entire game in, in just about every phase. So uh, we're fortunate and and happy to get the win. It probably wasn't the way that we drew it up or the way we wanted it, but winning's hard these days. Uh, you can look across the country and see FCS teams that have beaten uh, FBS teams. So uh, we're we're happy about getting the win. We got a lot of things to correct, you know, starting with penalties, you know, and so we'll get those addressed right off the bat tomorrow. Uh, I'll look at those t tonight or in the morning and uh, make sure that all of that's addressed with our football team because that's unacceptable. You know, we we can we can do things uh, within the game, you know, and screw up, but we're we're not going to screw up after the whistle. So we'll get that correct. You know, I, I mean. He, just like I've said, each way he's getting better and better and more comfortable and more comfortable. And now, you know, you're, as you see him get more comfortable, you're seeing him, you're seeing Mitch Trubisky come out now. You're seeing the guy that can do all the things that we think he can do, you know. And so I'm, I'm really pleased with the way he played. He's really taking care of the ball well. I mean, he, you know, again, he, he goes through another game. He really didn't put a ball in, 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 into coverage. And so I'm pleased with that. Probably some things that he still needs to get cleaned up. But uh, he, he did a heck of a job. Well, how important was it that you got some of those long balls today, especially early? Kind of stealth the mojo as well. Yeah, you know, well, I mean, that's always good. I mean, I, that, that, you know, when you hit big plays, I mean, that, that, that gets our offense going. It gets them excited and they, it gets them rolling. Uh, but, you know, going into the game with, the, you know, they play quarters covers, they play their safeties about eight yards deep, and they fit the run really well. And they, you know, they're going to stop the run. I mean, that was the, their plan with what they were doing defensively. And we, we said all week, you know, if they're going to play their safeties like that, we're going to hit some big balls over the top. And when we have those opportunities, we got to hit them. And Mitch put the ball on the money each time. I mean, threw the ball really well, and I thought those guys responded well. Was GMU's success offensively, was that a result of you guys needing to adjust defensively? No, I, I don't think so. <clears throat> I, I think that was uh, I think that was all mental. I, I, you know, I, I, again, I haven't sat here and looked at the film, but uh, – you know, we we just needed a mental adjustment. We we needed an, an attitude adjustment. There was too much negative energy after the first drive. I mean, which was disappointing. I mean, it, you know, we had a couple guys that were, you know, Dez and, and uh, Dominique who were trying to be positive, but we had we had too many negative <coughs> things going on, and uh, we got to get that corrected. So how did you have the game? Win? No, no. A rough result of that. No, I, I think when you get into games where everybody on the outside thinks that you should win a certain way, when those things don't go like that in the game, then guys get frustrated. And they didn't handle the frustration very well. Penalties. I mean, you know, it's just, again, not acceptable. Uh, they scored in the first three possessions, seven of the last eight. They did not score. How did you get that situation straight on? With the, uh, started playing better defense. I mean, that was it. I mean, and, and started making some plays. I think uh, the first play I remember was Dominique Ross. When was that? Second quarter. That was. I, remember, I think that was the first defensive play I remember. You know, so that's not a good thing when the first one he remembers in the second quarter. But that got some positive vibes going. You know, but you can't play that way. You. you I mean, you got to be positive all the time. It doesn't matter what happens on the last play. You got to look forward to the next one, and you got to put that one behind you because it, you can't let a play beat you twice. Larry, was it a difficult week for you just given some of the stuff that happened off the field? Did any of that had any kind of carry over considering for that? I, I mean, I would like to think it didn't. We had a lot of things, a lot of distractions through the week, but you know what? That's like in the game of life. I mean, you you still got a job to do. You got to do it, and you can't uh, you can't let things like that bother you outside. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, I thought our guys have handled the situation fairly well. And, uh, but they're young, they're, they're kids, and uh, they'll grow from it. And we'll get, you know, hopefully we'll be, be better men from it. Were you more disappointed in how the defense played earlier or encouraged and how they adjusted late? That's a great question. <laughs> and I don't know the answer. <laughs> but I'm happy we won. I'm happy we won. What's your, what's your situation like now up on the defensive line, especially at that one end spot now that the Tamon's out, Strober and Chad got hurt a bit today? I mean, how many guys do you have left of them? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know right now. Might, might uh, sign you up.
<laughs> Each coming off that edge on a quick, quick side. I'm, quick. I'm hoping you're quick. That's not Jersey. That's not Jersey. You got work out there. No, I, I, you know what? I don't really know what the answer is, right? Because I don't know. I don't know what's happened to Strobridge. I don't know. You know. I mean, we're gonna. No matter what, we're gonna line somebody up and, and we're gonna go. So, but you know, we are getting thin. Yeah, we're getting thin there, and that's uh, that's always, you know, uh, a worry. Defense getting frustrated early in the game when Chase Madison was scoring consistently. Did you ever feel that frustration bleed over into the offense at all, knowing that like we've got to keep scoring because? No, you know what? The guy offensively, I mean, every time those guys are coming off offense, hey, we got you. Don't worry about it. We got you. You know, and that's what we gotta have. I mean, both sides of the ball. Because I can promise you guys, or y'all, there, there is, there is a time coming where the offense is gonna struggle and the defense is going to have to carry it. That's the way the game works, okay, is that, you know, and then there's going to be times where the offense and defense struggles and the special teams are going to have to carry them. I mean, it, you know, and if you're a really good football team, all right, I mean, you do that. You take care of each other. That's the way you do it because nobody hits on all cylinders all the time. And I promise you there's, there's half a football team in there right now that's really disappointed. No matter that I tell them, hey, we want a football game. We'll grow for it. We're going to learn all. There's a bunch of guys in there that are disappointed right now in the way they play. You know, but tomorrow we got to come back, get it all corrected. We got to learn from it because we got Pitt coming in here. You know, and they're a really good football team. And it, now our, our goals start coming into play now. And so we got to get it corrected and we got to play better. Coach, you uh, designed that, that stop motion play that switched side of the ball. <laughs> I did not design that, <laughs> even though I am in charge of the punt return. Yeah, I wasn't. I, I was not happy about that actually, you know, because you know he puts himself in jeopardy when he does that, unneeded, because none of our guys know that he's doing that, and so they're all pulling off their blocks, you know. And so, I mean, now if he'd have taken it for a touchdown, I'd, I'd have said I designed it. Right? <laughs> but uh, but no, I, I really don't want him doing things like that. I mean, he doesn't need to take those kind of risks.